In this video, we're going to discuss the geometric sequence. Geometric sequence is a sequence of numbers in which the ratio between consecutive terms is constant or the common ratio. Let us consider this sequence. We have 2, 6, 18, 54. 2 being the first term, 6 being the second term, 18 being the third term, and 54 being the fourth term. So let's say for example, we're going to multiply our first term to a specific number. Let's say 3. So if we're going to multiply 2 to 3, the second term will be 6. And if we're going to do the same manner, we're going to multiply 6 to the same number, which is 3, the third term will be 18. Then, if we're going to multiply 18 by 3, the fourth term will be 54. Now, in the other side, if we're going to divide a term to a previous term, we will get the same number or the same ratio. Let's say, for example, our second term divided by our first term. Or, 6 divided by 2 will be 3. Or, the quotient is 3. 18 divided by 6, the quotient is also 3. 54 divided by 18, the quotient is also 3. So, in this sequence, the common ratio is 3. Now, let's have the formula for geometric sequence. That is, a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Where a sub n is the n term, a sub 1 is the first term, r is the common ratio, and n is the term position. So, let's have our first example. Find the ninth term of 3, 15, 75, 375, 1875. For our solution, there are three things needed in order to find the ninth term using the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. The first thing that we should identify is the first term. So obviously, the first term is 3 or a sub 1 is equal to 3. Next, the common ratio between consecutive terms. So, how are we going to find the common ratio or the R? So, R or the common ratio is 5. Because if we're going to divide 15 to 3, that is 5. 75 divided by 15, that is also 5. 325, uh, 375 divided by 75, that is also 5 and so on. Now, also we're going to identify the term position or n. n is equal to 9 because this is the term that we are going to find. So, in by substitution, we have a sub 9, this is the term that we are finding, equals 3, this is the first term, multiplied by 5, this is our common ratio, raised to n minus 1 or 9 minus 1. The term position, minus 1. So, let us simplify. We have 3 times 5 raised to 8. 5 raised to 8 is equivalent to 390,625. And if we're going to multiply it by 3, the, the ninth term will be 1,171,875. Now, let's have our second example. Find the seventh term of 8, 4, 2, 1, 1 half. For our solution, this is our formula. We have a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Our first term is 8. Our common ratio is 1 half. Because if we're going to divide 4, to 8. So, we have 4 divided by 8. We cannot divide it, but we can simplify it. 4 divided by 8 is uh, divisible by 4. So, we have 1 half. Also, we have 2 divided by 4. So, we have 2 over 4. That is also 1 half. 1 divided by 2. That is 1 half. So, our common ratio for this sequence is 1 half. Now, let's identify the term position. So, we are finding the 7th term. That is why n is equal to 7. 
Now, by substitution, we have the a sub 7, the term that we are finding, equals 8. This is our first term multiplied by our common ratio, which is 1 half, raised to 7 minus 1. The term position, minus 1 or 7 minus 1. So, let's simplify. We have 8 multiplied by 1 half raised to 6. 6 came from 7 minus 1. Then, by simplification, we have uh, 1 half raised to 6. That is equivalent to 1 over 64. Because 1 raised to 6 is still 1. And 2 raised to 6 is 64. Then, we have multiply 8 to 1. That is 8 over 64. Then, the lowest term of 8 over 64 is 1 over 8. 1 over 8 is the seventh term of the geometric sequence. Now, let's have this example. In geometric sequence, the first term is 2. And the fifth term is 162. What is the third term? So, for our solution, here is our sequence. So, we have the first term is 2. Then... Uh, the second term is not given. We are finding the third term. So the fourth term is also unknown. And the fifth term is 162. So we have the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term, and the fifth term. And we're finding the third term. So what is the number in this blank? So we're going to find it. So this is our formula again. We have a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So the given R, the first term is 2. The fifth term is 162. The, the, the n term or the term position is 5. And what we are finding is the common ratio. Now, let's substitute. So this is the fifth term. We have 162 equals 2, this is our first term, and r is unknown, raised to 5 minus 1. 5 is our n, or the term position. That's why we have 5 minus 1. Then, we're going to simplify. We have 162 equals 2, r raised to 4. Then, we're just going to isolate r by dividing both sides by 2. So, to cancel 2, then we have r raised to 4 equals 81. So, to remove the, the, the raised 4 or the 4 here, so we must take the 4th root of both sides. So, the 4th root of r raised to 4 is r and the 4th root of 81 is 3. So, we have now the common ratio. Then, this is our first term, 2. If we're going to multiply it by 3, we're going to find the second term. The second term is 6. Now, for the third term, 6 multiplied by the common ratio, which is 3, the third term is 18.